Haven't you just ever asked yourself, why is Inko Midoriya, aka Deku's mother, such a great character in this story? Like, I feel like this woman adds a whole new layer to the story because just look at her character. When she was originally introduced, she was tall, you know, she was skinny, she was having what seemed to be the perfect body given her status as a mother, of course, I mean... You, you know what I mean. But then, roughly, I guess, 10 years later, yes, let's just say 10, because I don't really know if it was 10 or not, but let's say 10 years later. Well, something happened. Deku's mother definitely made some kind of change in her life, and as a result, she is shorter, she is less skinny, so to speak. But then I see this type of people who claim that this is a downgrade, and I just get so angry because Deku's mother in her lolly form is the best lolly in My Hero Academia. She's like the ultimate lolly, she's the original lolly. People say La Brava, I'm like, please, bitches, we had Deku's mom all along. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, she's even a single mother right now. I mean, it's not really been stated that the parents of Deku separated, but we do know his father is overseas somewhere doing something. We don't know what he's doing. We don't know exactly where he is. We don't know when he's gonna return, if he's gonna return. So Inko Midoriya is effectively a single mother right now. She is taking care of their home all by herself because right now Deku isn't even living at home. I mean, he visits probably probably, but he doesn't live at home, meaning he can't even help out, apart from the times when he actually happens to visit his own mother. So just imagine this woman, she is, I mean, she's, she's a keeper, honestly. Like, I, I'm kind of surprised she hasn't gone for another man, given how long Deku's father has been gone. Like, I guess some people are just that loyal, or just in love. I, I don't really know what it feels to be in love. I couldn't really relate, you know what I mean? So I'm not really gonna get into that. Maybe that's just what people do when they're in love. They just do not try to find someone else. But regardless, Inko Midoriya, she had a chance to tap all Might. I mean, do you remember that chapter? I think it was 97 or something. It was, well, it was after the whole hideout arc anyway. And, you know, All Might comes home to Midoriya. That is Inko, Midoriya, and Deku at the time, of course. Because this was before Deku had actually moved into the dorm. And All Might comes into their house. And we see both Deku and Inko being all starstruck by the fact that All Might was actually inside of their home. I mean, obviously, Deku is seeing All Might on an almost daily basis at this time, but, you know, to have his idol come into his house, that is probably an entirely different feeling that, me personally, I could not honestly imagine what that's like because I don't really have any sort of idol on the same level that Deku has. Now, I'm a bit surprised at the fact that Inko Midori is having the same reaction, although I'm kind of guessing it's because he is obviously officially the number one hero. At least was, because obviously he's not anymore, because he can't really do shit. But anyway, what I'm really trying to say is that she done fucked up. So I believe I mentioned something earlier about people calling her new form, if we can call it a form, a downgrade. Someone said that her short and chubby form is a downgrade from the skinny tall form and this is a heresy that is punishable by death in my book. You do not simply go up and say that Inko Midoriya's chubby form is a worse form than the original because in this case the original actually did it worse. We need chubby Inko Midoriya, we don't need tall and skinny one because that wasn't God's will even though I'm not even remotely religious, you know. But let's not talk about that because we need to talk Inko Midoriya, not God. We don't care about God here, okay? God can die but at the same time he shouldn't die because that way it couldn't be his will to grant us the gift to humanity. Chubby Inko Midoriya, Deku's mom. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't really know what to upload today because we're not getting a chapter apparently. So instead I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a video on Inko Midoriya, aka Deku's mom. Because I think every YouTuber that does My Hero Academia content needs to, at some point, make a video on Deku's mom, because Deku's mom is, well, she's something else, isn't she? Yeah. 
So let me know what you think down below in the comments about Inko Midoriya. Do you prefer her skinny tall form or her chubby short form? Obviously only one of those answers are right, so choose carefully. Anyway, if you did, be sure to Detroit smash that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you want to see more My Hero Academia content coming your way, this has been Chaotic Plus and remember everyone, Toga is waifu, Toga is laifu.